guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today's video, as you may have guessed by all the things be behind me, is this month's Audi food shop and meal ideas video. So if you are new to my channel, then you may not know, but I do these once a month and you guys seem to really enjoy them. Particularly, I mainly do this for my cousin. I think I've mentioned this before, but my cousin, well, he's married to my cousin. My cousin, Scott, he likes me doing these videos. He likes to see what we get. So I thought I would do another one. I enjoy doing them as well. This is a bit of a bigger food shop. As I was laying it out, I was like, we actually got quite a lot. Um, but I'm not quite sure why, but we seem to have, can you see all of this? I'll do you a pan round in a minute. Quite a lot. And we did get some extras that I will show you as well. If you are new here, then please do subscribe. My name's Katie. I make two videos a week, one on a Wednesday and one on a Sunday. So I'd love for you to stick around. So I'm gonna show you what, I'm gonna do a little pan around. You can see that Chloe has put some Christmas decorations out in the background. So I'll just do a little pan. Okay, so if we start over here, this is kind of the cupboard section. Oh geez, I think there were some little dots on the camera, so I've just cleaned that. So this is the cupboard section, so I'll just give you a little mini pan of this. So, let's talk you through. So first thing we got was some white potatoes. I normally buy Maris Piper, but I just went for these white potatoes today. I got some baked beans. Now, if you've watched my videos before, you will know that we are a sucker for Branston baked beans. However, I picked up these ones because these are the ones that I put in things. So if I make a bolognese or anything, I put the unbranded baked beans in there because obviously they're cheaper. Um, moving on to Jason's crisps. So he got these ridged crisps, This, these flavours, which are none that I would eat. So that's probably why I got them. And then he got two packs of just plain salt and vinegar crisps. Then we got some both in one bread, some wonky brown onions. So these are always cheaper than the other ones. But what I do, and I've mentioned this before, is I will chop these up and then I will freeze them. So they're just really easy to get to. I got a tomato and herb pasta bake. I always buy one of these every food shop because they're always a good staple to have in the cupboard and yeah good for nearer the time of the food shop so i've got some chicken stock cubes and i also got some beef stock cubes i got some bananas i got these which i have mentioned in my last food shop video and also in my favorites video so these are the double chocolate mochas um i don't know why i said that so strange mochas and I am obsessed with these. So I got two boxes of those because I really enjoyed them last time. Got some eggs. I've mentioned this before, but we tend to buy a, a big box of eggs so that everyone in the house can have them. If you are new here, then you probably don't know, but we live in a house of five people, including a little baby. So there are some things, just eggs and milk that we will eat between the four of us slash five of us. I got some sage and onion stuff and mix, always good to have in the cupboard when I do a roast. I got some egg noodles. Two lots of tomato puree. I've mentioned this before, but I like to buy things in twos. I got a pack of spaghetti. We both got, this is obviously an extra little treat, but we both got a little choc um, Audi sorry, chocolate Santa each then picked up some sweet chilli sauce, which I think is actually leaking, so that's fun. And also some soy sauce. Moving on into the more, oh, hold on actually, then two tins of chopped tomatoes. Moving into the more snack bits. 
So anyone that hasn't watched this before, you won't know, but Jason, who is my partner, he loves a snack. So that's what you're gonna see now. Gonna go into snack territory. So I picked up cheese savouries. Dad, if you're watching, these always remind me of you. And I absolutely love these, so I picked up those. Picked up these, which I picked up last time and I really enjoyed. These are the chocolate chip cake bars, so they're for me. We then both got, because you know, it's Christmas, so you've got to treat yourself. Some matchmakers, the mint ones. Jason, right, let's go through Jason's snacks now. Jason got a pack of dreamies. Three packs of cookies. Some Kinder chocolate bars. Some minstrels. We both got a chocolate orange each. Terry's chocolate orange. He, oh, and then we both got a box of these strawberry creams because he ate mine the other day and that really annoyed me. He then got three packs of the Viennese fingers because he loves those and two packs of the jives. So as you can see, he loves a snack. I got these, which are the milk waves. And I used to eat the, I used to get these quite a lot at work actually, because I used to work, well, I still do, work near Lidl. Um, so obviously these are the Audi version. We then picked up this. Now obviously we wouldn't normally buy this, but because it's Christmas, uh, this was down the Christmas aisle. Now this is the Millionaire Sponge Pudding. Please excuse my nails, they are in need of doing. So this is the Millionaire's Sponge Pudding and I had to convince Jason to get this, but look how nice this looks. This looks like something my dad would like because he likes a Millionaire shortbread, but I'm really excited to eat that. It does have a date on it till the 8th of January, but I can't see it lasting that long if I'm honest with you. So next thing is I got these rice cake bars, which I bought before. So these are the chocolate ones and these are the chocolate orange ones, they're not that great for you. I mean, they're quite high in fat and saturates and sugar, but they're nice and a nice snack. I then picked up these, which I have mentioned many times before. These are the strawberry um, sweets, the candies. They're like candy kittens, so I like to pick those up. Moving on to fridge. So I'll do a little pan for you. Okay, so if we start this side, I picked up two garlic breads. I always go for the essential ones just because they're the cheapest. And I tend to freeze those. Let's start here. So we've got this garlic and herb chicken crown. I'm gonna do a roast on Sunday, so we'll have that. I then got some turkey mints. All recipes will be disclosed um, once I get to that part in a minute. I then picked up these. These are only for me because Jason probably won't eat them. But these are camemberts and look how nice they look. And they come with a red currant dip. I don't know if I can, there you go. Ooh. Can't wait, can't wait. Absolutely buzzing about that. That'll be my lunch one day. Not very healthy, but it's Christmas. That is gonna be my excuse now for the whole of the next two months. Then we picked up these hot and spicy chicken breast strips and also some southern fried ones of those. This is all freezable if we need to freeze it. Then picked up a pizza, so I picked up this one, which I is actually quite large <laughs> when you look at it. So this is the uh, spicy chicken arabiata with, I don't know how you say that, sauce, it's a sourdough pizza, it looks quite nice. And Jason picked up, in comparison, this is uh, just a pepperoni pizza, but that looks tiny in comparison to the one I picked up, so. That's good. Moving on, so we then picked up some pork mints, some salmon fillets, they are lightly smoked, some beef slices, some salmon fish cakes, rump steaks. Jason picked up some crispy bacon, he will just eat this as a snack. We then picked up these, which we've never tried before. So these are the Bramley apple pork sausages. So we are gonna give those a try. We then picked up some Dauphinois potatoes. I'm not really sure what we're gonna have with them. Again, they're freezable, but I love a Dauphinois potato. So treated ourselves for those. That is a common theme throughout this whole food shop is treating ourselves. 
Jason then picked up some chicken and bacon pate. I then got a sweet and crunchy stir fry mix. I know that's really lazy and you could do it yourself, but it's just easier. I picked up some ham because I like a jacket potato with ham. We then picked up these, which we've again never had before. These are the crispy ar am um, aromatic, aromatic half duck with pancakes. Thought they looked quite nice and I do quite like duck pancakes so we're going to give those a try. Then picked up an unsmoked gammon joint, I've mentioned this before but I pick one of these up every food shop. The same with the smoky barbecue ribs because they've got long dates so they're good to have just before you need to go shopping again. I then picked myself up some carrot and swede mash. Jason won't eat this but I really like it so I picked that up. Then picked up some cheese. We always go for the one in the purple packet, which is the extra mature cheese. I then picked up some green beans. I love green beans and I do normally buy the frozen ones, but I decided to go for the fresh ones and I can just freeze them. Then picked up some spring onions. We got a six pint of milk. We also picked up this profiterole dessert. Again, not something we would normally go for, but I thought we would go for it. Picked up this beef mince. So this is a one kilogram one of mince. I always say this, but I tend to go for this because it works out cheaper. So we picked up though, picked up that, sorry. And then we can just half it and then freeze the other half. You'll notice that normally I buy the a kilogram of is it kilogram or two two kilogram of chicken but we have actually got quite a lot of chicken still in the freezer so didn't buy any chicken this time then picked up some chicken and bacon tortellini for jason i've got some four cheese tortellini and then to go with that we've got tomato and ma mascarpone sauce each moving on to freezer stuff so we had to get a few bits this time because we've kind of got to that point where we've ran out of pretty much everything so we've got the chips, I love crinkle cut chips, so we've got that. Apologies if you can hear Mowgli in the background. Then I picked up some scampi. Jason doesn't really like scampi, so I got him fish fingers. I say I, he was there, but I picked it all out. So he's got some fish fingers. Got some southern fried chicken goujons, just to keep in the freezer. Some peas. As you have probably noticed, I don't really buy many veg fruit, um, ben ugh my teeth back in i don't really buy many veg fresh because i find it easier to do it with frozen veg it's just easier and i find that obviously it won't go off so i tend to buy fresh oh my goodness me i tend to buy frozen veg so i've got garden peas here and then also a vegetable medley which is peas carrots broccoli and cauliflower i then picked up these which is from the party range the christmas party range which are mac and cheese bites as you can probably tell, I just love cheese, basically. Picked up some chicken nuggets. Always grab some chicken nuggets in the freezer. And then we got some pies. So Jason has the steak and ale pies and I have the chicken ham hock and leek pie. They are good to have in the freezer as well, obviously. We just really enjoy those. I got some cola. Now, anyone that knows me, I only really like Diet Coke. And obviously, I'm a bit of a snob. I either like Diet Coke actual diet coke or i like pepsi max but this is for a recipe that's why it's the original one and also we picked up some tropical blast fizzy drinks i'm trying not to drink too many fizzy drinks but sometimes I just like to treat myself right and then the additional things that i need to show you this candle <laughs> now jason's given this to me for christmas this is how i convinced him to let me have it but let's just put my hand next to it. It is massive. So if you like a big candle, this is a very sweet scent. They also had a pomegranate scent. But if you like a sweet candle, I'd go for this one. It is the Sweet Almond and Macaroon scent and it was £19.99. Oh yeah! <laughs> big ass candle, Oswald. Here he is. Next thing Look was right. some toothpaste. Toothpaste? And Are you the milk? Yes. No, I don't want it to be on camera. We've got some fabric conditioner. We love the smell of this paste? one. <laughs> this is why I don't film this with Jason mm. around. This is oh. the strawberry of magnolia scent. How many got Sarah's chocolate oranges? <laughs> and another one. And another one. No, we've only got two. What? 
And then I picked up our other laundry thing as well, so the two-in-one <gasps> gel. Oh my goodness me, what? And Santa's. <laughs> And then I just picked up one of our bath soak today because we've actually got some spare upstairs anyway. <gasps> and perfume. Have you seen this? Yes. I've done this. all of this. Ah. Anyway, the next thing, the next two things I got was I got some Christmas wrapping. Okay, bye. So four set here, and some bows up here, and some tags as well. And that one, oh, that was two ninety nine. They did have a good selection of Christmas bits and bobs actually in there. And then I managed to convince Jason to let, I say let me have. Look, you say this all the time, that's like I'm saying like a troll freak. Okay, agree. Because obviously we equally pay for the food shop. Oh, that's bad. So yeah, we got this. Knitted throw and it was $14.99 because I'd like to change my colour scheme at some point in the future. I nearly put forth reasons why you shouldn't get Okay, mean, so I'm just going to run you through some dinner ideas that I we guess. have got for this month. Jason's been very annoying in the background, so apologies if you can hear him. He wants his Kinder chocolate. Wine. Yeah, you can take that now. Thank you. I'm going to do dinner in a second. Well, I'm going now. Okay, bye. See you right, so a few dinner ideas. So I've got cheese top chicken with wedges, excited. and that is a pinch of nom <laughs> recipe. Uh, cheesy fajita or risotto, that is also a pinch of non recipe, spaghetti bolognese, salmon spaghetti carbonara, another pinch of non recipe, sausages, mash and veg, a beef Yorkshire pudding wrap, pinch of non, crispy chilli beef with veggies, another pinch of non recipe, chicken goujons, mash and beans, honey mustard chicken with wedges, that's a BBC recipe, fish cakes and chips, a roast dinner, Pie mash and veg, pork stir fry, gammon and cola with wedges, that's a BBC recipe, and then barbecue ribs, and then obviously we bought a few extra bits and bobs as well. So I will be doing a what we eat in a week because you guys seem to really enjoy... I'm just doing the outro, please just let me do that. <laughs> I will be filming a what are we eat in a week video because you guys seem to really enjoy that. So look out for that. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a big thumbs up, subscribe down below and also follow me on Instagram. My handle is in the description and I will see you very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.